Hello everyone, this is your Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation with variable equations. So, we are going to solve the given differential equation using the reduction of order method and we are given a second order linear differential equation. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve x square y double dash minus 2x into 1 plus x into y dash plus 2 times 1 plus x into y equal to x cube. So we are given a differential equation with variable equations, right? Variable equations. And we are going to use reduction of order method. See, we are given a differential equation of second order. Given differential equation x square y double dash minus 2x into 1 plus x into y dash plus 2 times 1 plus x into y equal to x cube. Now make the quotient of y double dash to unity. Okay, we'll make the quotient to 1 just by dividing both sides of the equation or the whole equation with x square then we'll get y double dash minus 2x into 1 plus x by x square into y dash plus 2 times 1 plus x by x square into y equal to y cube by x square then this equation becomes y double dash minus 2x plus 2x square by x square into y dash plus 2 plus 2x by x square into y equal to x right then y double dash minus now see in these two terms we are having i mean in the numerator we are having two terms and in the denominator we are having one term so we can split the two terms into or the two fractions into two two fractions okay this becomes 2x by x square plus 2x square by x square into y dash plus 2 by x square plus 2x by x square into y equal to x, right? This becomes y double dash minus of 2 by x. Here 1x get, one gets cancelled. Here x square gets cancelled. We will get 2 by x plus 2 into y dash. Here only 1x gets cancelled. We will get 2 by x square plus 2 by x into y equal to x. Okay. So, this is a standard form of second order linear differential equation. Consider it as equation number 1. Now, just compare this equation with y double dash plus p y dash plus q y equal to r. We'll get p equal to minus of 2 by x plus 2 and q equal to 2 by x square plus 2 by x and r equal to x. Okay. Now we need to find complementary function that is the part of complementary function of solution of 1. Okay, so here we need to observe P and Q to choose the suitable formula. Observe P and Q. Here we are having P equal to minus 2 by x minus 2 and Q is 2 by x square plus 2 by x, right? So here we are having minus 2 by x and minus 2 and here we are having 2 by x square and 2 by x, right? So if we multiply this equation with minus 1 by x will get q right so here we have minus 1 by x extra okay think like that 
or here we are having minus extra and here we are having x extra okay so I'm going to pick p plus qx okay that's fine p plus qx we'll get minus 2 by x minus 2 plus q 2 by x plus 2 by x into x right this from this we'll get minus 2 by x minus 2 plus 2x by x square plus 2x by x right here 1x gets cancelled x has get cancelled and we'll get minus 2 by x minus 2 plus 2 by x plus 2 so minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 by x plus 2 by x gets cancelled and we get 0 right therefore p plus qx equals to 0 we know that if p plus qx equal to 0 then y equal to x is the part of CF of solution of 1. Okay. Since P plus Q equal to 0. So therefore, Y equal to X is the part of CF of 1. Right. And here X is a, we can, or just write where, u equal to x. Here we are having y equal to x, right? Which is a part of c of 1 and this is our u, right? So we got u equal to x. Let's find du by dx that is derivative of u with respect to x. From this we'll get du by dx equal to derivative of x with respect to x is 1. Then, okay. When u equal to x, du by dx equal to 1. Okay, we got y equal to x is a part of c of 1 and we got u equal to x d by dx is 1 okay let y equal to uv be the general solution of 1 already we have u but we need to find v then v is given by d square v by dx square plus p plus 2 by u into du by dx into dv by dx equal to r by u. Consider as equation number 2. Now, we'll get small v from this equation. Okay, first we will get capital V and from capital V we will get small v. Okay. Now substitute P, U, D, U by D, A, X and R in this equation. Then we'll get D square V by D, X square plus P. We have minus of 2 by X plus 2 plus 2 by U. We having U equal to X into D, U by D, X is 1 into dv by dx equal to r by u where r is x and u is x this becomes d square v by dx is square plus minus 2 by x minus into plus minus 2 plus 2 by x into 
dv by dx equal to 1. Here minus 2 by x and plus 2 by x gets cancelled and we'll get d square small v by dx square plus of minus 2 into dv by dx equal to 1. Then d square small v by dx square plus into minus minus 2 into dv by dx equal to 1. Let d small v by dx equal to some capital V. Then d square small v by dx square equal to d capital V by dx. And this equation becomes dv by dx minus 2 into v equal to 1, right? Which is a linear equation in v and x. Okay? Now, compare this equation with standard form of linear equation with v and x. dv by dx plus p1v equal to q1, right? So, in order to find capital V, we'll use the general solution of linear equation in v and x. That is the standard form of linear equation. Okay, so here we need to find integral p1 dx and later we'll find if which is equals to e for integral p1 dx and then we'll go for the general solution of this formula sorry of this equation which is given by v into integrating factor equal to integral q1 into integrating factor into dx plus c1 okay now just compare these two equations then we'll get p1 equal to minus 2 and q1 equal to 1. Now let's find integral p1 dx is equal to integral minus 2 into dx which is equal to minus 2 into integral dx which is equal to minus 2x right. Then we'll get integrating factor which is given by e power integral p1 dx which is equal to e power minus 2x. So here our integrating factor is e power minus 2x right. Now, we are going to use this formula to find capital V. Okay. V into integrating factor e power minus 2x equal to integral q. 1 into integrating factor e power minus 2x into dx plus c1. This becomes integral e power minus 2x dx plus c1. Integral e power, we know that integral e power ax dx is e power ax by a, right? So, we'll get e power minus 2x by minus 2 plus c1, okay? Now, take this e power minus 2x to RHS. We are having v into e power minus 2x equal to minus e power minus 2x by 2 plus c1, right? The next step, We'll take this e power minus 2x to RHS. We are having v into e power minus 2x equal to minus e power minus 2x by 2 plus c1. Now we'll take e power minus 2x to RHS. We'll get minus or sorry minus e power minus 2x by 2 plus c1 into 1 by e power minus 2x which is equal to minus e power minus 2x by 2 into 1 by e power minus 2x plus c1 into 1 by e power minus 2x. Okay. So here e power minus 2x, e power minus 2x gets cancelled and we'll get minus 1 by 2 plus c1 into 1 by, we can write e power minus 2x as 1 by e power 2x, right, which is equal to minus 1 by 2 plus c1 into e power 2x. So, we got capital V equal to minus 1 by 2 plus c1 into e power 2x. Now, put V equal to dV by 
dx d is small v by dx okay then this equation becomes dv by dx equal to minus 1 by 2 plus c1 e power 2x okay now take this differential dx to rhs then we'll get dv equal to minus 1 by 2 plus c1 e power 2x into dx So here we can notice that the variables are separable, right? So we can perform integration. Integral dv equal to integral minus 1 by 2 dx plus integral c1 e power minus 2x dx plus integral constant some c to c. Then v equal to first we write the constants outside the integral. We will get minus 1 by 2 integral dx plus c1 integral e power 2x dx plus c2, right? Then, v equal to minus 1 by 2 into x plus c2 into integral e power 2x dx is e power 2x by 2 plus c2. This is c1, okay? Fine. So, we got v equal to minus x by 2 plus c1 by 2 into e power 2x plus C2. So we got V now. And also we are having U which is equal to X. We are having U and V. Now we can write the general solution. We know that the general solution is given by Y equal to UV. Right? Therefore, The general solution is given by y equal to uv, then y equal to u, you are having x into v minus x by 2 plus c1 by 2 into e power 2x plus c2, which is equal to minus x squared by 2 plus c1 by 2 into x into e power 2x plus c2x. Also we can write it as minus 1 by 2 into x square plus c1 by 2 into x into e power 2x plus c2x. Which is our required solution or here c1 is constant and also 1 by 2 is also constant so we can name c1 by 2 as some c1 dash. Okay. Then we get minus 1 by 2 into x square plus c1 dash into x e power 2x plus c2x. Okay. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from reduction of order in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.